And this is because when they were having these studies, unfortunately, black minority groups were not really we're involved. Were not involved when they were like testing the products. Testing these things. And only yeah. now, so you're looking at your hair relaxers, you know, I can't mention names. Yeah. Hair relaxers, yeah, hair gels, we hair whatnot. <laughs> you can say Ona, like the basic Shauna way of pronouncing Shana, it, like yeah. Ona. Um, but, uh, I mean, it, it came from my surname, really. Yeah. From Ruwana. Ruwana. So, yeah. I figured that, man. Yeah. But <laughs> you never know which pronunciation. That yeah. People are, like, so uh, very particular about names. Yeah, it's very like, picky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe, actually, just for context, what, what um, natural oils, what kind of products are you guys actually making and, and putting out into the world? Okay, so I think with... Okay, when, it come, when you talk about natural oils, really, yeah. it's... I think for us, it's maybe the starting point of where our products come from. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're looking at beauty trends, there's been, um, you know, larger consumption in the past couple of years and even the next couple of years in terms of, you know, beauty and um, cosmetics, really. Yeah. So with our oils, it's um, our model looks at maybe creating the oil. So we've got maybe your um, avocado oil, yeah. your turmeric, um, things like fair. So baobab, marula. Yeah. So these are the basic components of our products. And then from there, we've managed to stretch into uh, making things like maybe your creams, your lotions, your shampoos, your shower gels, and items like that. But at the core of the business is really about creating this, uh, we call it maybe our, our liquid gold. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the terminology now, <laughs> liquid gold. Yeah. So that's, so that's the basic context on what the oils are. In regards are. to like the products, isn't it? So that's a very yeah. interesting thing um, <clears throat> in and of itself. But uh, more broadly, uh, I think you touched on it a bit. But with the business, you know, what problem would you say you're seeking to solve? So I think basically for, for as long as I can remember, I think since like grade three or whatnot, um, I've had this like a skin ailment. So it's called hives. Oh, I've got that, um, bro. Or, <laughs> <really>? <laughs> okay, uh, so I've got hives. Also, some I mean, in other words, it's also called um, um, Munyawiri, exactly. right? Exactly. So, with Munyawiri, <laughs> right? So, it's like each time that I'll take a bath, be it cold water or maybe like um, a hot shower Extremely or whatnot, hot, yeah. Yeah, <clears> then <throat> you get like all this irritation soon after taking a bath. So, you know, doing my research, I end up finding out that maybe. Uh, that unfortunately for some most people it's not really curable yep but there are ways <laughs> but there are ways to manage to it manage. so from there that's when the interest i think came from wanting to work with natural oils so yeah. from there on it was just maybe just me myself using the oils on myself maybe need things like your coconut oils and whatnot the ones that are mostly marketed towards us yeah but in my in my findings then on the internet and maybe just asking people then figured I ended, up, I ended up finding out that there's like a rich history behind that in terms of traditional medicines yeah. i know it's not like an aguju like i mean yes there are also <laughs> traditional medicines but um yeah they, you know they, <laughs> it's a hilarious they've example, been, man. i mean they've been <laughs> other exa- they've been other um, traditional medicines yeah so even looking now in personal case so you'd find out that kare they've been using things such as faisal which is maybe like our main highlight yeah um with feso it's a creepy crawling plant um that you find i think in all the regions of zimbabwe yeah. and most people just you know when they're farming and preparing their land it's just they just see it as a weed because there hasn't been much use of of it yeah but now when you're looking at the oral history behind it you know that's been passed down from generation to generation in different communities you'll find that people actually consume it it's edible people actually consume it as a food yeah. supplement so it creates that okra effect, like the one that you see from the right? Yeah. And they've also been using that maybe as a shampoo. So, you know, a natural shampoo. That's, that's a versatile place. Yeah, man. Yeah. You can shampoo. eat it. You, <laughs> can, <laughs> you can bath it. You can, yeah. You know. And in some groups, when they're doing maybe like outreaches in terms of hygiene, you'll find that in certain spaces, in the rural spaces, they can actually, you know, commend the idea that you can use it. You can soak it and then you can probably use it after a few days as you know a soap to actually wash so Ooh. from that yeah. it actually helps to clear out some ailments like measles and some other flares on your skin you know just by itself um so those are some of the you know ideas that we've been getting from things like face so now we're also then using that in our products um and even the hitch the rich so the rich history for um 
shampoo. Yeah. So it was actually creating that. You know how when you know when people are relaxing their hair to yeah. get that uh, thin, slippery, you know, the curls, curls yeah. and yeah. whatnot effect. Which so you can actually use it naturally without actually adding any chemical components. You yo, can use it yo, by this is this sounds like right? the, the Beyonce <laughs> of plants, man. What the hell? Yeah, I mean, so that's the thing. So now learning about that, it, it kind of does spark interest. Okay, okay. So now, like, okay, since so I was still using facial, um, just as a body wash, because it'll really help to soothe uh, and and the irritation With became way less. Yeah, um, and then from there on, so this is information that I end up finding out from like. My grandmother, because these are things that I've been using. Even my mother had been using these things by Kumusha. Yeah. Uh, when they'll go Kuruizi and they'll be using like Feso. So you can really tell there's like a rich history behind yeah, that. Yeah, there's a real but, culture. But unfortunately, you know, when you now go into the retail space, um, yeah. you look at the shelf, there's barely anything that reminds <laughs> you of. Look, that even tells that you're in Africa, really. You're just looking at all these products. Yes, they're marketed yeah. to others, but if you look at the back, or maybe on, on reading the list at the back of the product, you realize that these are just imports. Yeah. So what are we doing locally, right? So then um, from there on, I think me using the oils and whatnot, then I went on to to study biochemistry at UZ. So biochemistry really then opened up my mind. It's more of a research program, but yeah. it, it really did open my mind in terms of how I perceive things. Because now I think if you're making our products, you know, formulations, I've got like a, a different perception whereby you know you can put two and two together so i'm looking at the chemical components of this add them up with this you get this what maybe this de- yeah. desired effect um yeah so just looking at the basic components so mixing biology which is you know the study of life and the chemistry yeah. which is maybe the components this chemical components and the, the deeper uh the carbon and the hydrocarbon interactions and yeah. whatnot whatnot yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that helps you then to just make uh, products. So now with Ona, with Ona Natural Oils, our bigger scope was to be making the oils ourselves. Yeah. But like like I think in a previous conversation, it's no it's no reason for you not to begin to do something because you don't have the you resources. Don't have the capacity, that you, isn't it? Yeah, as of then. So what we then did was um, okay. So we don't have the oils. We don't have the capacity to be you know producing them ourselves. And, and by capacity, I'm assuming and correct me if I'm wrong. This is like machinery, capital, etc. Yes, so we don't have the distribution channels or the collection channels. Don't even have the place to be making these with. Don't have the right tools. Ooh, like labs, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah, okay. we don't okay. have the, the, even have the place to be, you know, doing these tests on. We don't even have um, the skills and the knowledge. Because remember, yeah, I, 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 I didn't even go to school yet, man. <laughs> um, so then, so then now, <laughs> as I was going through the process, um, that's when we then created. As soon as I started making some of the products. Um, yeah. And then from there on, you know, at some point I was just reselling. Like I said, coconut oil was working. I uh, was just reselling it. And for the facial products that I was using, just mostly me and maybe some of my friends yeah. who maybe were in need of maybe similar situations or whatnot. You know, really I, like I was, small scale. I was just, I was your go to guy. I feel yeah. like I have a problem like this. This, okay, let me see if I can cook something up for you. So this is using kitchen utensils. Um, uh, like I said, kitchen utensils and using, um, you know, just basic, like, YouTube tutorials. I mean, you guys really underrate YouTube. Damn, like, that's, that's, <laughs> yo, that sounds crazy. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like a, it's a whole university by itself. So, um, thereafter, I think that's now how Honor came to be, you know. So, there was this, always that, that other drive to, okay, maybe I could make these for other people in similar situations or even yeah. maybe worse situations, you know, and... Now learning about biochemistry did, really did help me in terms of maybe learning about the, the several plants that we have in Zim. I mean, if you go on the internet now and look up things like Zimbabwe flora, it's, it's, okay, it's basically uh, supported by the South African Encyclopedia and whatnot, but yeah. it does help in terms of Identifying they've basically profiled everything, like majority like the of the things. Yeah, the they profiled them since like the 20th century, bro. Like, and so what, this is what like the, the plants, uh, the benefits and whatnot. Uh, yeah, or maybe just <clears throat> the uses really. Or what okay, yeah, are uses, them exactly. For. Um, yeah, so it has even pictures of those things. I mean, I saw articles dating back to like 1940 on Ooh. that page. I mean, yeah. and I'm wondering, yeah, okay, that's so good. we all know these things. So what's happening, you know? Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, like, so, yeah, like the yeah. knowledge is there. Why isn't, why aren't people actually really? creating yeah. product off so of it. So I, I think, so then I figured, well, you know. Why not it be me? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey, it has to be some, but I mean, I want to make money also, so, you know. <laughs> no, to be fair. Yeah. 
So I, I get that. I, yeah. I get that, and I respect that. Um, is it fair to say that what you studied was informed by uh, the passion to actually figure this out? Is that a fair thing to say? Yeah, I think I wouldn't have looked at this program if I hadn't then discovered that there are ways of maybe you know soothing this. I mean, yeah. I think I actually wanted to do something like. I think like medicine, but for, for me doing medicine or wanting to do medicine wasn't really formed on um, like wanting to create stuff. Yeah. Um, it was just more of, you know, I just want to make money and, yeah. you know, I mean, I've got the brains, I guess. And, I mean, that's what, that's what making And medicine is the thing you do, hey? It's yeah. It's Zoom. <laughs> it's the thing, you know. And it's not to knock anyone who's doing that, but it, I mean, uh, status wise. It's like a really good program to pick if you yeah. like if you're in uni yeah. and you're like I'm studying medicine I'm studying to become a doctor like mm -hmm. people just naturally like yeah you bright guy fantastic you, know, you might as well you know I mean the whole classroom <laughs> is doctors and doctors and whatnot so yeah. then I got the now when I was doing maybe like some of the looking at some of the career options that were there yeah um, then I figured I mean I just started feeling that maybe I was more I think I was more inclined to creating stuff I think now with the position that I'm at I feel like I'm, I'm a creative, but not yeah. in the sense of maybe like like not creative writing like, oh, oh, and art like and culture. The way and people culture. No, normally not, think no, of creativity, really, but but just in more of um, making just, stuff that can be consumed. Stuff. Yeah, is yeah. that like a fair thing? To, yeah, a fair way to describe yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, there's a, a lot goes into product formulation. Yeah. But I mean, to see the creams as they are now, yeah. <laughs> 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 I could even begin talking about how that. I mean, it took me like <laughs> three years. <laughs> Yeah, Ooh. and join Zim also because you know. So let me actually cut you off there, and actually let's let's talk about that in because one of the things I saw when I was going through um, your Facebook, Twitter, as is that you use like a lot of these like natural ingredients, and I was one of the things I was always wondering mm -hmm. uh, was that um, what's like the testing process like in terms of determining like one how safe is this for me to use two. How effective is it? Like the desired yeah. effect. Yeah. Uh, like, it does. Like, where does your research start? Does it start within communities mm -hmm. where you get like these ingredients, or you actually gather these ingredients and then lab test? Like, just like paint a picture for me of how that works. Okay, so I think, I think it's a combination of both, really. Yeah. I mean, like I said, there's probably the rich history behind, you know, maybe some of these ingredients. Yeah. And also then maybe just being informed by the journals and what, and, and I mean, the scientific journals that have been there and yeah. the previous studies that have actually been done because uh, most of these things had been studied before and they just kept in archives waiting for and someone no maybe really to read like, them. Yeah, and yeah, you know what they say about like Africans, if you want to hide something from a black person, <laughs> put, put it, it in, in a, a book. book you know? <laughs> and hey, I mean, they were, they were not wrong, man, because, to be fair. you know, so now um, <laughs> looking at, so how the, okay, the, the product, process okay it's more of initially we're just making cream right um and for me it was just maybe just making a cream that would maybe just help soothe my situation right yeah um and then there on you know with the rich history like i said behind all of these things you end up finding that no some people are actually be using face for this some people yeah, actually like be using saying, babe, some oil. eating it some in, in certain communities like nachmani man and amastring go they have things like you know ma yeah. But Maui are not only being fantastic. used, yeah, the, you know, they're not being used as a food supplement, but they actually have a certain oil, and the oil that they have... What? Is, yeah, I mean, what? You didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Or, yeah, so no, actually, do every day. yeah, so let me tell you something, what yeah. happens. So we've got your pod. Yeah. Oh, this, okay, this is rather what we're doing at Honor now, right? Because it's like a different scope now. Yeah. So Honor, what we're doing, an example is maybe with the pod. So we know that people have been using the pod even as a uh, charcoal supplement or firewood supplement, you know, because you know how thick it is and quite yeah, it's quite yeah. quite firm, quite dry right, well. and very dry. So with the pod, we can probably use it as charcoal, but then the then the the, the powder, the the seeds rather, you can probably use them as a powder. Just eat them as they are. People add them in porridge, or you can then eat them as maybe as I think now there's like a juice. I would say I had I had it a few weeks ago. I didn't yeah. I didn't like it that much, and and yeah. that's like a really like an honest opinion. That's on, the thing. On my part. Um, so I mean, but I love my wool, but yeah. the juice. There have been people who've been doing. I think you need to try the other people who've been doing it before those guys. Yeah, the ones that you mentioned. <laughs> we don't speak of them. Right? They redacted. <laughs> yeah. So there are different variants. So, 
I mean, people are even making sweets out of them, man. I mean, there's a yeah. whole range of products. I remember there was like a, a rage um, maybe of the six, Sherbet seven guys. years ago. Yeah. I don't know, that thing they used to make, Aizololo. Yeah. Oh, they, they're was, still doing that. They still do that. And I these are things I saw. Years, but those, those, those oh, no, you're just, fantastic. no, you're probably just in the wrong space. I'm in the wrong space. Okay, don't battle, guys, really. Like, no, 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 like I think in the in the hood, man. Yeah, no, but but there's it. a there's a point in time yeah. where I felt like they took over everything. <laughs> because I could get them like in, in Cranbourne. Yeah. Uh I could get them I think even here, I think I was around like primary or just yeah. into high school. There's a time where they really went uh, Yeah, I think they, they were like the Zim dance or, or, or fruit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super food, man. And they use it because it's got like vitamin supplements and whatnot, whatnot. Yeah. So now we've got the seed. So usually people just throw away the seeds because obviously you can't really plant a baby tree. It doesn't grow too yeah. down. I think you start seeing something like after 15 years, but Ooh. who's got time to wait? Yeah, that's uh, it's for patient people. You know, so then <laughs> with the seed, you can we then crush it. And we extract an oil from it, right? And that's the oil that we then use in our products. Yeah. Um, so let me just take you to the hierarchy. So you've got yeah. your pod. Your pod, we can take the pulp and make it into maybe fruit juices, um, jams even. And then yeah, we go yeah, down yeah, to yeah. making and, and we work with the, the seed. The seed also, if you um, burn it, right? Yeah. Uh, or activate it rather, it's a certain process. If you burn it, um, you can create... Um, Babab coffee, so you can make a coffee from our. It's quite Damn, strong, <laughs> and then the, and then from the same seed you can also make um, um, oil, right? And then from the leftovers of that whole, maybe the the shells and maybe this some of the seeds from. Okay, the, we call it cake, the one yeah. that's left behind. <clears throat> you can actually turn that maybe into maybe some charcoal. So you've got like charcoal for your shisha lovers, and even maybe in those areas they can now use it as that. Yeah. So. What we're essentially doing at Honor, right? Because that's just an example of beer, but we also have people harvesting feso for us. Um, and feso, like I said, it, it grows naturally in all the regions of Zimbabwe. Yeah. So working with certain women groups that we work with that are able to harvest it for us. So I mean, there's things like workshops that we're doing um, to also maybe just enlighten them on why we need these things and also just showing them some of the products and even selling like to the power and, even, and even providing to them to, so that you get to see the fruits of their labor also yeah, so in return yeah, yeah. they harvest these things from the seeds from the even same with marula marula i know is more f- famous for amarula because yeah. <laughs> you see the pop you can make a you know um a, a, is it wine what is is that a brand i don't know like i don't well, know what they liquor. call it liquor it's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah i don't know how to like let's just properly go, pronounce let's just go that. with liquor bro Duro, essentially yeah, 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 <laughs> Duro. yeah it's, um and then so yeah so essentially what we're now doing is uh, with honor because initially like i said or just ah, i'm just looking for a solution for myself whatnot whatnot but now looking at the bigger scope of everything is now we are making these personal care products um using local and indigenous ingredients right yeah and we're turning them into potent personal care products so specifically for african skin and for african hair and by yeah. doing so we're working with maybe information that had been provided from generation to generation that has been passing down these communities, right, with that same information. Yeah. And we're now using it into making potent skincare or hair care products. Um, and at that same time, also doing all of that is, you know, we're creating opportunities for people in those areas and giving them some form of benefit, you know, so that they also take care of those species. Yeah. yeah. And they're also take, being taken care of. There's like a clear value of yeah. what these plants. Yeah actually so you can't really take you can't really value something when you don't even know if it's worth anything yeah so that's where the whole um workshop and outreach you know comes in whereby we also then give them maybe insight on how they can also use them even at home um and the benefits that come maybe with consuming some of these um the herbs that we work with yeah so i've got like a range of other products that want to use or maybe some other ingredients that want to use like apana mfanshi muka which is called resurrection bush um, yeah, there's how a does tea. That, that that sounds really interesting. Um, <laughs> so I mean, yeah. So I mean, someone was explaining to me yesterday how, um, in 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 the traditional community, right? It's they actually use it as as, as incense. So you know, incense the one they use for yeah. 
uh, warding off evil spirits and whatnot. Yeah. And most people assume as you go about some French muka, it's either on going or something like that. Oh, okay. Because associated, it's something yeah. that they, you know, that they Almost light like up you're cleansing to cleanse the room. Yourself. And whatnot. So now I realize, you know, okay, some of the cultures that we've had, um, they're all using some of these, you know, herbs. Um, but it can also be used maybe in terms of helping alleviating symptoms of maybe coughs um, and even in terms of just it's very high vitamin C supplements. So in terms of maybe looking at issues of um, patches on your skin, um, dark areas, we yeah, can make like a cream do. for you that helps in terms of From maybe that. removing patches, you know, dark underarms, inner thighs, knuckles, you know, patches on your skin. Yeah. All these things because if essentially when because since we're now all more of a cosmetic personal care yeah. brand you'd be wanting to make products that speak that to the customer that. Yeah. yeah so yeah. like <clears throat> targeting specific needs that's that's the the narrative that we want to go with yeah yeah that's, yeah, that's really interesting man um I, I do love um that's another thing i really love about doing this is is that um I, I really get to like see things and I'm like, what? This is, yeah, this is there's crazy, a lot man. going like, on, man. Where is this information? Yeah. <laughs> but um, beyond uh, researching and, and the ingredients uh, and what you've walked us through, right? Um, one of the things that you are very keen to, to talk to me about uh, is actually the branding of On a Natural Oil. So that's. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we touched on on the name, right? Yeah. Where that comes from. Uh but uh the logo was like what's the origin process behind that? Because uh like you mentioned to me before you had an o- uh, you had a logo before and yeah. then you you've transitioned now you've got like yeah. a, essentially a new brand identity for, for lack of a better term. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. So I think yeah. I mean, looking at the original logo, it was just just basic simple paint. I just yeah. used paint. I literally went on the or oh, like Microsoft yeah, I, Paint? Paint, Paint, yeah. yeah. Like Paint, the one that we probably were playing on the computer. Yeah. With, you know, like <laughs> it, right? And I just typed uh, I just typed in Ona, you know, and the O just came out looking big. It, was, it just came out big. I think the font that I used was just, yeah. I think, yeah. And then, and then I went on the internet and I looked for like a little picture with like leaves. Then I just cropped it. And, and then I, I don't know, then I just added it on top. <laughs> and then I just, I just remember like using that as the initial logo. Yeah. But then, then I got a friend of mine um, to then look at it. I mean, he's into graphic design. He's like very serious about it. Yeah. Um, his name is Wade, Wade Penny, right? So, yeah. I sat, so I sat down with him and then he then turned it into like a more cleaner look. So if you look at the new logo now yeah. in the middle, that's... You know, it still looks like what I'd made before, but now it had like a cleaner, (laughs) luxury look. And then now, with where we are now, since now looking at the bigger scope of what Ona is now, um, I added that uh, that chevron that uh, goes around, right? You know, the sun-like thing. Yeah, the sun-like thing. (laughs) So, I mean, if you're looking at maybe the sun-like thing, I'm just thinking about how the things that we use are everywhere. I mean, you know, we're basically using things that you can find anyway. Yeah. Um, and at the same time, I pictured it as more of, I mean, I took inspiration from Great Zimbabwe, obviously. I mean, I see, we Ooh. see these patterns all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I was looking at it, you know, those little dots that are there, we're looking at it as people, right? So imagine, like, those are people holding hands. So, oh, okay. yeah. So, okay. I know. Okay. So okay. with us, you know, since I said work hand in hand with people in these spaces, working hand in hand with even the consumers, right? Yeah. Because even our production process, it was we make something, you try it, you give us feedback, we fix. Again, it was a continuous cycle. So even some of our clients I've yeah. been working with since like 2019, when we started making the creams and whatnot, we've been working consistently with them. And even up until now, they've become more of our brand ambassadors because... Yeah. They've been really there's the that, ones like, being, yeah. relationship. So I think for that, it's just showing how open. Yes, there's honor in the middle. Yes. Uh, but essentially, it's really all about making collaborations and partnerships. Yeah. Because if it wasn't for that, I don't think the idea would have ever come yeah, into play. Yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? Yeah. So that's, so that's <laughs> the narrative that we're playing with by using that whole print that you can see with the people whatnot. Because yeah. as a brand, also, you need to have some form of meaning that goes beyond making a product face because anyone can come up and you know start and selling make, yeah face. and make 
Yeah, like you're saying, from those same uh, literally ingredients I mean, and resources. Half the things I've just said in this video, you see someone else <laughs> making them, but you know, but it becomes about yeah, it's really just about the brand. So what we're trying to get across yourself. is yeah. working with communities. That's one thing that we do. Also open to collaborations, yeah, and just making partnerships. And I think as a whole, that's what brings you know full circle on a what natural oils on a natural oils what what owner stands for. And that's I think for me personally. That's what Ona stands for. Yeah, that's yeah. that's really interesting. And there's, there is one last thing, Forever Young. Yeah, it, like, man. There's a space between it. Is it Forever Young? Or, yeah, I, don't I know. mean, I it sounds gonna, the same. but I know, but that's the whole point. <laughs> you know, I was going to use like some wordplay thing going on there. Like I know it's Forever yeah, Young. That's, that's your tagline, isn't it? That's, that's, our, that's our tagline. Yeah. Like, so the past couple of years, I think since we didn't have anything. Because we're really struggling, man. Yeah. Like, I, like I, I tried <laughs> yeah, being very creative about it. <laughs> and then I think now this year now now getting on board working with the team that we're working with, um, I think it's something that came up recently actually, yeah, you know, like a month ago. So like um, we were this year. I mean, a lot of things have happened. Yeah. So I think let me just start unpacking when yeah, Zim Trade. So so Zim Trade is um, I think it's an organization that's you know working on maybe energizing exports for Zim. Yeah. So we got into that program and we're part of the top 50 in Zimbabwe, right, yeah. for this year. Congratulations on that, thank by the you, way. Thank you for that. And then we got into the top 20 again um, yeah. for that. And then now through those trainings that we're doing, I mean, we learn things about branding. We learn things about, like, um, custom, customer acquisition. We learn things about even exporting because essentially, you know, with Honor, we'd still want to be, because we work with African in. skin, African yeah. hair. So we're not just looking at a scope of selling, you Zimbabwe, know, Zimbabwe, market. but looking at even the African market, the African diaspora market, because you know all your friends are leaving, but they're still black, you know. So. And yeah, they still need products <laughs> you know, that are made for yeah, them. Yeah, <laughs> so we still need to give them products that are tailored for them. Yeah, right? yeah, fair enough. So, yeah, so, so yeah, um, you know, so that's so they helped us in terms of opening up our scope. So I remember in one of the conversations that we're having, I think you know these things maybe as from your from a journalism or like point yeah. of view in yeah, <coughs> copywriting kind of yeah, what copywriting yeah, was adding yeah. that C on your logo but no there's so many things going on <laughs> so much goes into yeah. that yeah so we're mentioning with one of our products which is like um, this one I think the, the, the Marula one right yeah so the Marula one we were talking about um, things like you know um, anti-aging effects um, helping with protecting your skin from harmful UV rays because you have a lot yeah. of sunlight here in Zim so and removing that dull like effect from your skin so then whilst having that conversation i think the pictures of us when we're talking with the minister of industry and youth uh, uh, honorable kirsty coventry yeah and we're just having a conversation with her and then she and then you know someone was mentioning how you know it comes across as a, like a bit you know like you're attacking someone when you tell yeah. them anti-aging you know, yeah yeah it's like i'm kind when of you saying you're someone, old it's you like, know yeah it's yo, like it's like you're kind of saying, <laughs> so it's like kind of saying that. Oh, okay, I think you're old, you know. Yeah. So then, now looking at the scope, even with our facial products, the ones that you can see, that we're yeah. mostly using them for hair because facial has a rich, also has, shows you know signs of um, stimulating dead hair follicles. So even if your hair wasn't even growing at certain points or maybe patches and whatnot, it can stimulate them to start working again. It's not oh, an overnight so. thing. So yeah, yeah, so for my guys who are like balding, they yeah, could, they could that, try I mean, this out as well. Your like go-to a, guys, we've got your oil. Resort. Yeah, you've got your oil for you. You've got a shampoo. We've got, we usually start as a kit. Yeah. That's the best way you can see the now, results. I'll tag, yeah. I'll tag a few homies. Like, Yo, yeah, I think you definitely. need to be. So you see, you, you end up don't realizing. <laughs> so you end up realizing people are suffering in silence. You know? Yeah, especially yeah. with that man. Um, yeah. I don't know if this guy will feel comfortable with me using it, but I'm not going to mention his name. I had like a, <laughs> a, a, a close friend of mine. Yeah. Yeah. not close friend but like a, a colleague of mine mm -hmm. and he yeah, he's kind of bored i think he i think yeah. that's how no, put it we, we, he should come to us come to <laughs> us and 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 you know. and and he always used to tell me he's like yeah i'm really like self-conscious because i the, the way it came up is i asked him I'm like yo bro like you're always wearing a cap right like yeah it, you see that's it, so he's my guy but yeah. he would wear like a a, a a a cap with a suit i'm like damn yeah. bro and then yeah. he, made, he explained it to me. He's like, yeah, so the it's reason why is, is because I'm really self-conscious about So now about that. when I'm not thinking about that, so remember, um, you know, an example, stimulating dead hair follicles. These are things that happen over time. Yeah. Um, but what now we're pushing for is the narrative. We want to keep you 
I'd rather want to keep you. Yeah. No, no, my hairline is good forever. as well. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> if I start using it now, I'm, I'm yeah. good for life. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so the idea of forever young is, yeah. you know, that it already gives an impression of, okay, you're taking care of yourself. Um, I mean, you know, self-love. There's no one else who's going to do those things for you. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. just taking care of yourself doesn't necessarily just be about the food that you eat or exercise, or but also your out, outlook. Yeah. Because I think the biggest organ on, on our body is our skin. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so it also actually. needs to eat. It also needs nutrients. It also needs uh, yeah. upkeep. And that's where our products come in. Right? So when I keep your skin as sub- supple as possible, as silky, as smooth, deeply moisturized, and, and even with your hair, you want to create a growth miracle. Yeah. That's what we call our facial products. It's a growth miracle. Because yeah. it's an actual miracle. Cause you know, <laughs> I need to yeah. try this out. I yeah. need to. I need to. Yeah, man. <laughs> I need I mean, to test it out. I you know, you should. I mean, <laughs> so that's the whole narrative with the forever young yeah. idea, and I feel it really did then, you know, encompass what we're really gonna push. So even in terms of um, your creams, your lotions, your oils, you know, it's really all about just trying to ma- maintenance. Yeah, so for now I'm ensuring that before the plane crashes, we're ensuring that it actually doesn't have to crash. Yeah, and then yeah. Try to Why know. wait until then, man? Yeah, you know. Fair enough. I hear that, yeah. and and yeah, and that's usually like an approach that we we take where it's like if you if you're not like if you can't consciously see the effect of something, sometimes um, you're fine, but. When it then happens, yeah, it's like, oh, then there's like, oh, I mean, that whole midlife crisis thing going on. Oh, yeah, no, you know, we don't need that for you. You don't, you don't deserve that, you know. Come over to online, yeah. and we can it, help it, you. it sounds it sounds a bit fun though, like yeah. a crisis when you're like waking up at 40 and 45, and you're like, damn, this is it sounds chaotic, but <laughs> part of me is yeah. like, that sounds a bit fun. But so, with that already, it then created, um, you know, in terms of what target, target customers are because, yeah. like, it's been a journey, like, this is. Starting from nothing, because unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, my family, mm. I don't think they're probably like a first generation entrepreneur. Uh-huh. So I think yeah. also looking at the family dynamics with me doing business, it's always been like a very rocky space because yeah. my parents would be like, but like, what's the point? I really sure, you know, you what if you just go and then maybe look for a traditional job and whatnot? Yeah. Why are you going in this direction? And as a parent, <laughs> they don't know how to best assist though. Yeah, because it's like they don't know anyone. Also, it's, it's you know? really growing pains for everyone. So, yeah, so it's been um, a roller coaster, yeah. and I think the having the team that I work with now, I think I work with the team from Akai, and I'm also working with uh, with my partner Obi Gunda, right? Yeah, um, it's really just helped you know put things into place. I mean, yes, I, I've been working with my mom since like I mean, hey, breath, bro. <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> So since, since the highest yeah. time. <laughs> so I think those were being some of also the very supportive characters um, to yeah. what you now see on her being. Because yes, and as much as they might have an idea or, you know, be this guy who founder. creates, founder <laughs> yeah. thing, you know, it means nothing when you can't put the product out and you also have a, 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 it's called a um, support structure, support system. Yeah. That's yeah. just yeah. kind of just... You know, in as much Sometimes as... Sometimes picking know, up your Yeah, yeah. Well. just like, okay, no, you're doing this, okay. And, and I think what's helped me along the way is also just, you know, the clients that we have, that the ones we've been working with. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I think the joy I get when someone is telling me maybe, ah, I was having a very serious issue with my acne and then I was using the, the bare uh, body wash yeah. and it's yeah. cleared up. I'm I mean, good now. I can walk confidently, you know. Now I, I feel comfortable in my own skin because the yeah. worst thing that I think can ever happen to someone is when... You don't feel comfortable yeah. in your skin, you know. So then that's where the narrative with Ona Yakuti, if our land is able to feed us, I think it can also take care of us. That's why all our products are really just Coming focusing from... on indigenous. Because, I mean, hey, you've gone this far by being taken care of by our land. Yeah. So why not yeah. just use it in terms of cosmetics also? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's, I think no, that's I, the... I, I, I really like that. That's I really like that. Especially the yeah. last thing you, you mentioned with acne because that's, yeah, that's a huge thing, man. And, and I think it's just... Yeah, like acne, Beauty hair loss. Um, that whole industry is just an patches. interesting And unfortunately, industry, and unfortunately now, there are some fake products. 
Yeah. Yeah. And oh, like, what do you mean by that? Like, someone pitches it as like a natural indigenous but product, not. but it's really not. Oh, they don't even have any effect. Most of these items are just in, like they just dilute the bleached products and whatnot. Ah, uh, so, so they're, they're not as some are very harmful in terms of the chemical yeah. compositions that they put in there. And even looking at some of the products that are on the retail space, they have. Um, a lot of harmful inputs. They yeah. don't really talk about them. Yes, they do help. Most of them are preservatives that they add in there, but they don't really help in terms of what effects they have. I mean, um, for an example, yeah. I can use if anyone, if any of you has like anything in their bathrooms and their dressing tables, just look at the ingredients. And if you notice anything that says like parabens um, or some types of plastics that they use. Yeah. So an example with the parabens I'm talking about is they've actually been shown to increase the chances of develop, developing breast cancer by over 40%. In yeah. African women, or African or Black American yeah, African women yeah. below the ages of forty, and this is because when they were having these studies, unfortunately, Black minority groups were not really were involved. not involved when they were like testing the when products, they testing these things, and only yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So you're looking at your hair relaxers, you know, I can't mention names. Yeah, hair relaxers, yeah, I get it. hair gels, we hair whatnot. <laughs> you see, most of the products that are marketed towards <coughs> us Africans, they we're have never these really inputs. tested. Yeah. So I start noticing these problems. We're now developing all these certain diseases and whatnot that maybe were not really common, common. in our genetic pool in, in, in you know in, you know in Africa in our history as well, yeah. And you're wondering where they're coming from. But these are things that you're putting on your children, you know, from Kupadu, like, Krish, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and whatnot. And, and they, then you start wondering why they're having these like some 20, effects. Twenty-five years bro. before they actually they so, can consciously yeah. choose what products to. So that's where we also come in and say no, we're very. Um, uh, conscious of what are adding in our products, you yeah. know, we want the best for African skin and for African hair, so which is for you, uh, essentially. So that's yeah. why we're very conscious about what we add and what we don't add in our products. And I think also the other nights that we come with, we're not 100% natural, we're not 100% chemical either. We're the best of both worlds. Yeah. So we're looking at a fusion of natural components and the chemical components. The reason I say so is I feel using one over the other, you know, oh, okay, overly no, the other, right? Just depending on I feel on like one, it's not yeah. really sustainable uh, in the long run. Imagine if all of us are using, okay, it's just like I'm attacking the, the Ghanani community. Yeah. <laughs> when you say, you say things like shea butter, like, bro, I mean, how many trees are oh, you yeah, like, yeah, right the, the, What's the effect on, on, the, know, environment on the environment if we then know, all go like 100%? We're well, just you uh, know, cutting down and using all these things and whatnot. Yeah. So I feel like maybe striking a balance between the two. Yes, it's, it'll be very beneficial for us, which is what we're doing with all now. We've made our products as mild as possible, but they're even safe on baby skin. And with all our mm-hmm. products, we've had them tested by Zim Labs and also with the University of Zimbabwe, because that's where I was doing my, uh, my undergrad. Yeah. Uh, so that's where I also work with. I also work with Professor Mdeluza. He's um, one of the professors there. And he focuses more on immunology and maybe some of the tropical diseases that we have in Zimbabwe. Yeah. So also working with them in terms of our research based and our field work, it's you know, it's actually quite actually informed. informed. It's not just ah hey, products. you know, I can just make something, you know, yeah. no, no. So that's where it also comes in Bakuti. Our team, we have the skill set, we have the knowledge and we have the capacity and you're to make actually it. Actually collaborating with people who can yeah. test yeah. And, and yeah, that's yeah, yeah that's, man. That's really that's really quite quite interesting um, as as well um, because yeah I, I do remember I think I saw I don't know if it was a tweet I'm gonna say it's a tweet mm-hmm. <laughs> where you you were mentioning that even stuff like weather and climate are considerations when you actually yeah, make products I mean, right you now. have to like, yo, so like I think it always goes back to Nyana sorry Nyana imports right when I'm talking about imports it's um, certain brands, certain European brands and certain yeah. Western brands. Yeah. Some are in blue, some are in whatnot. <laughs> I think you can catch my drift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Um, I think I know. do. <laughs> <laughs> they were made, if you look at the history, they've been made for, um, you know, certain, you know, eth- ethnic groups yeah. And, yeah. and certain exactly. skin types, exactly. right? <clears throat> and then, yes, they were marketed since we were consuming their media will be inclined to purchase their products also. Because so it's, that's it's why there's a see. big influx. Because if these are things that are marketed toward us. You see these things even subconsciously. Yeah. You only believe that maybe you look better if you're using a certain product. Using, yeah. Right. So then now with our products, it's okay. We're looking at, you know, there's a lot of sunlight in Africa. Um, 
I don't know if it's the same thing as daylight. I don't know daylight savings. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, yeah, yeah daylight know. savings time. Or yeah, something, something like that. that. So when they switch the, we have a like okay, okay, maybe I don't think it's the right context. But anyway, if we go back to, in Africa, <laughs> we have a lot of sunlight, and yeah. our weather patterns are basically different from you know what they experience there. Oh, the I mean, other clients, we don't yeah. have snow, man. They have yep. snow. Um, also looking at things like um, uh, mel- what melanin is. So melanin is a, is a it's a, it's a pigmentation that you find in your skin and your yeah. hair and your eyes. So what it does is the more melanin that you have is more this, the darker, you know, the tone or whatnot, the more melanin, melanin that you have. And this is um, a result of maybe how much uh, your ancestral people were exposed maybe to sunlight or the sun uh, really. Okay. So the more you were exposed, the more your body developed this pigmentation to help you cope with the environment. Yeah. So think of it as genetic factors and, you know, yeah. so the land that we're staying in. So with those things in mind, you'll be looking at, yes, your skin can take care of you. Like that whole night, you to black don't crack. It actually does crack, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, because yes, it does. That's <laughs> bad news, man. <laughs> so that's when we then come in with our products and say, could you know, use our body butters because we've made them specifically in a way that also helps to protect your skin from the sun. Yeah. Um, you know, and also some of the, so there's some things that also affect us like UV rays. Those are things that you'd find, you know, we can't see them with our eyes, but they are there and our skin feels it. Because yeah. remember, skin is an organ still. It's not impenetrable, you know, Superman, yeah. you know, yeah. you actually can <laughs> get sick. So then we add, you know, you know, products. So from our body oils to our body butters to our uh, body washes, we're very conscious to about like, taking care. Yeah. So some of the things that you find out, like certain acnes um, and certain reactions are probably a result of probably the products you're using, that they're not taking care of you or they're not feeding they're not doing they're, um, enough, enough of, nutrients. Yeah that your body your actually needs. Yeah. So that's where we then had to be very conscious about your climate, you know, because you spend a lot of days. I mean, I'm looking at, um, you know, women, vendors, you know, she spends a whole day. She wakes up early in the morning at like four or five, goes and to the market. And you want to have Zore, right? Outside, yeah, yeah. She, she took a bath, she applied her cream or whatnot. She wakes up early in the morning, she goes to the market and then she goes and sits under, under her, on her table. Right, and unfortunately, she might not have an umbrella. Yep. She might not have any protection, but her skin is feeling these effects. Exposed yes, for like yes, twelve she's, hours. Yes, <laughs> so you're hardworking, uh, making money, taking care of her family, good, but Bad. her skin it's exposed. Yeah. Yes, you're using a Western brand or a very substandard brand that you're just using just to cover your skin, but the side effects that you see is when a few years later. She starts developing certain problems on her skin, and, um, and that also affects the whole being, the family setup, and these yeah. are the breadwinners. So in our mind, that's the, what things that we had. But okay, no, we want to take care of you whilst you're doing whatever you're doing. That longevity. We want that, yeah. So we want you to feel good whilst you're doing your job, or whatever activity that you're taking part in. But at the same time, you're protected. Yeah. So that's a narrative whereby I would say with our body butters. And our range of products is all about keeping you safe and also allowing you to be your best self. Yeah. So you can notice people's skin tone getting dull or maybe darker because of the exposure and whatnot. But yeah. we're saying, no, you don't have to look like that. You can still look your natural way. But whilst being, you yeah, whilst you're doing what you're doing. So imagine you're doing your presentations or you're doing your interviews. You know, we want you to feel good. We want yeah. you to look good. You also want you to be very confident with what you're doing. So using our products helps you to become your best self. Yeah, I hear that. That's, yeah. that's a good pitch. It's like yeah. you're selling me the <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay. Um, so one of the things you mentioned previously was, you mentioned some of the benefits, man, um, in terms of just like indigenous product, uh, building communities, right? Like empowering people in communities to understand yeah. what these products are. And so the flip side of that, I would suppose, um, because I, I suppose those are some of the the joys of a company like yours, like you said, uh, building these communities, uh, yeah. watching people uh, get rid of these maybe like um, ailments, for lack of a better term, that mm-hmm. have been with them for years, right? Those are some of the positives. What would you describe then as some of the biggest challenges that you faced in building up a brand in Zimbabwe? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, number one, <laughs> like, I will say this is my chest. It's yeah. always been the narrative that locally made products aren't as good as you know maybe foreign or imported products yeah right so you know that alone makes it seem like 
you know, we, I mean, these were made by people. Like, that's what I tell people. These products are made by a person. Yeah. I'm also a person. Yeah. I also went to school. We've also gone to school, you know, and they also went to school, but we've all got the same skill set and knowledge. We can even probably make products that are even better than that because yeah. we're more informed. It's easier to make a product when you're actually when in you the know environment the customer. Yeah, and in you the know market, the actual yeah. customer. Then, So that's been the biggest question whereby, you know, someone looks at your product and they're like, okay, uh, okay, well, okay, well done, you know, but yeah. I don't made think it's Zimbabwe. as good as, you know. Yeah. And it's made in Zim. Oh, I thought it was a South African product. Okay, what do you mean, bro? I what's, mean, what, what becomes the difference? <laughs> you know, or maybe, <laughs> I, I know, I, I'm just more inclined on working with, this blue brand, yeah, you know, as compared to yours, <laughs> or I like working with this one, Kanichi Shiri, you know, I think it works off my skin, whatnot. But they're like, no, you don't have to, you know, what yeah. making products that I actually just make specifically for you, uh, try our products, and the results are very imminent. It's not even like I'm selling dreams or anything, yeah. these are actually results for actual people yeah. using this product, yeah. So, what do you think? How, how does that perception change? Is it a thing where we're in the process of that and it's just something that takes time or yeah, how does that I think work? I think it might take generations, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, yes, we're making active steps, but I can just give you a simple example of when, you know, petroleum jelly by that blue seal yeah. company has been yeah. like marketed towards like African yeah. skin as if this is the go-to for everything, you know. That yeah. has been from generation to generation to generation. Yeah. And unfortunately, we're also introducing these products. We're also clearing um, our own rich history, unfortunately, and making space for these new ones. For these things, yeah. So what we're trying to do is bringing back those, um, that information that has been passed on from generation to generation, or maybe rather from healer to healer, and making modern, potent cures for the new generation yeah. so what we want to say is we're also focusing on the family unit because at the end of the day you know you're gonna have you know okay maybe kids. i'm just you're yeah, gonna have kids God or maybe it. you we'll know see. yeah <laughs> <laughs> or at least okay. someone watching you yeah, so, yeah. someone watching someone probably watching gonna have you. kids <laughs> and you know you're passing down you know these products to them so we're looking more of a legacy thing so with that with that change of that narrative comes into the media that we consume uh, basic adverts, even even basic local policies and yeah. what they have in terms of buying local, what incentives have they put? Because I know Zimbabwe is very price sensitive, yeah. and also yeah, yeah qu quantity over quality type of thing. So you know, knowing those also those has helped dynamics, us on yeah. how to position ourselves to get you, you to be more inclined on yeah. um, pr you know using our products. So it it won't happen overnight. But I feel like certain things can be done. Certain gradual steps, can, or informed, yeah. intentional gra gradual steps can be made to make to make it, you know, something that comes to reality. But yeah, um, that's why we're going with the indigenous oils and the indigenous herbs because that way I think it stands for something bigger. And when you now go into those spaces, be like, ah, wait, I've seen this somewhere before, right? And yeah. automatically you think of honor because you know. Where that's where you that's where you first yeah. got exposed to, yeah. to that not new narrative mm -hmm. but but you got that yeah. narrative that had been lost yeah. essentially yeah 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 i hear that man i it sounds like you guys have a lot of um awareness work <laughs> yeah, uh, would, on your plate yeah i mean <laughs> if we're looking at like the scope that we have it's like man it's it's crazy i mean it's it's wild but i think that's what's been driving us because yeah. I think, uh, yeah, sometimes that's the opportunity, isn't it? Man? Yeah, that's it, man. We're very hungry. Like, yeah. we are very hungry to make things work, and we're making things work. Yeah. I think, so, like, I think something that I always discuss with the team is always something about how, like, take each and every opportunity as if it was your last. We might not, we might not necessarily have, like, you know, like you're saying, you might not have, like, a $2,000 camera or whatnot, but you've got the opportunity to do something do it you just do it so that's with with that's been our motto and honestly this year we've gotten so many results from that yeah and even up until now we constantly go with that because if i had had that spirit of saying i'll think i'll wait when yeah. it gets better when i've when got I labs reach, you know when we've got labs and whatnot that's when we start we're no. scientists i mean like i said we were repacking i yeah. was like repacking like buying like a liter or something and adding to like smaller bottles and whatnot yeah. And then up until I realized, oh, wait, I can actually make more money by making my own products, though. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because I saw the uptake. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, because I remember the, I think one of our first products was 
fun fact actually yeah. was that um you know there was this frenzy with like that clay peel off mask Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before people yeah. start noticing that Girls had, like, that. yeah. Before people start noticing <laughs> that it had like side effects because now people were actually it was actually tearing like layers Probably. off your skin Ooh. and whatnot and whatnot. So then around around that time that's when I was using clay. Like when I say clay, like Daga guys, the same clay we still use it now because yeah. obviously, you know, the research behind it shows that it has certain components. Daga and like using activated charcoal. And making like a clay mask. These are things that you pay probably like fifty dollars in a spa to get. Yeah. You know, but yeah. we're giving a spa at home for like two dollars, bro. So you exactly. know, <laughs> there was like a big uptake, and I was like, no, but looking at these margins, bro, you know, this is very sustainable. If I, I mean, make it myself, you know, my life can actually yeah. change. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so that's <laughs> and, so and that's, part of yeah. that. I think that discovery as well is is also quite uh, is also quite beautiful in, in that like. The more you you make stuff right yeah. with the limited resources you have, the more you realize that you can actually like make more. I can it's actually like do more weird. than this. I don't know how to describe. It's a real. It. It's a journey, man. It's a realization <laughs> journey. Like, and it's only a thing you can do once within it. Like, yeah, there's no there's no amount of like talking about it and ideation no, no. that will show you certain things. It's it's yeah. a very weird thing. So so I think for us now it was. Um, you know, most most of these startups that are coming up, yeah. I think Rashoma were actually into like manufacturing, you know, and because like from the ground up, because people will be thinking about the manufacturing industry in Zim, you know, the certain giants yeah. and those that basically the gatekeepers. Yeah, and Bamuesa <laughs> just decide not to do it and just go to South Africa and um, just repack work it. for someone else and just repack. Yeah, I mean, usually working for someone else is, is usually it's a lot safer, the, the a lot least more security. stressful. Yeah, a lot yeah. more security. It, 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 you won't go and say doing that. Yeah. I mean, ah, right, so that's a conversation <laughs> for another day. Let's not get into that. I mean, yeah. it's tricky. Yeah. <laughs> Remember how I told you about how we did the logo and how it was like a paint yeah. logo and it ended up being like an illustrator logo, you yeah. know? So that night, like, I hadn't even sold anything. I didn't even start <laughs> selling anything, bro. I couldn't even sleep. <laughs> I think I was so restless yeah. that the only time that I felt like um, things were, like, when I felt better was when i actually started selling so that night mm -hmm. since i couldn't sleep I, I actually ended up making like a little catalog like a yeah. price list yeah <laughs> like i used like the most basic word template like i mean it looked like leopard print and whatnot going on yeah. and then i just put on my status and you know surprisingly someone was like okay i mean i i knew where to get the things yeah and i just repacked them and i added like you know my nice looking logo because now my logo is very nice yeah and you know, like what someone was saying um, about when you start selling something, you've got like three types of people. Yeah. Um, I mean, not to offend anyone. <laughs> you've got like three types <laughs> of people. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you've got your family, obviously, yeah. and you've got your mm. friends. And then, friends. And then you've got your fools, people who just like, they'll just take anything, even right. if it's poison. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, yeah, I want to buy you. Know, I, I think thing. I'm fools, man. <laughs> I'm like so eager to support people. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So those are the types <laughs> that you sell to, it's like the three people, the three Fs, right? So then we did, so I put it on my status and just people just started, you know, just inboxing. I want this, I want that. Unfortunately enough, we're using my my mom's office in, in, mm. in CBT. That's where we then just put like a Ooh, little... Yeah, that's usually a good... A little corner that location. we had like um, a little, you With know... product. Yeah, product. And people were like, oh, that's just... I mean, I've made products that were separating, like... I, I remember this one. This oh, one like time. the ingredients. I tried are. making like this perfume yeah, spritz thing and... <laughs> It was like a layer of oil, and a little a layer of water, and just ah, my goodness! And still, people bought that, and they actually wanted to buy more. And I was like, guys, like, but I mean, <laughs> like uh, this is this is what they like. It's fraud, separating, guys. Don't, like don't I'm still on there in my layer. Because <laughs> no, I just shake mine. I'm like, what? Yeah, I think that also then goes to what I feel like some of the highlights have been um, yeah. in in making this. I think. Um, one of the moments was when I realized that we sold like our first thousand units. Ooh. Right? Yeah, that's I mean, good. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, for <laughs> someone who was just selling like like 10, you know, it was sort of as a hobby. It was like, you know, I'm just selling per side. Yeah. But when I actually realized that we sold like that first, <laughs> first, not even, because that wasn't even like, I'm not saying our first K, because first K, I went to the food head. But, but I'm like looking first, at like, like first proper, thousand yeah. units. I'm like, so this is like first, essentially first thousand paying customers. Yeah. And we were like recurrent, 
like the following month we'll be seeing certain numbers in the same range yeah for me i was like wait so there's a thousand people yeah. somewhere this is a business <laughs> that now makes you carry revenue what yeah, yeah i know there's a thousand <laughs> people somewhere who are buying mm. this yeah. on a monthly basis yeah yeah that's crazy man i mean i mean yeah i mean yes i know next year will be selling kind of tens of thousands but you know there's also beauty like, like stepping for back me, and that 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 alone was like it was like a wow moment like as it should be man you know it's um, a lot of work i i bro, genuinely think like i told the first day that i made <laughs> that i made cream yeah and you know it wasn't like they weren't mixing like, was like, <laughs> like i put so much effort you know and then i could see the water because and an oil layer yeah and they were just not mixing so i got so frustrated and i started mixing by hand right because i was so frustrated was like yeah. what is going on <laughs> so i kept mixing by hand right like i think over like five minutes like out of frustration and then i started noticing the consistency was changing you know? <laughs> And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, oh, oh, so this <laughs> oh, it's actually working. I remember, like, I was, because I was working. That's like, the a, trick. So, like, I think at my, my dad's house, there was, like, a, a cabin at the back. That's what I was using. Yeah. I've been using it for, like, another, for another, like, startup idea that I had. Yeah. Um, um, and then I was, and then I just, I ran from the back and I was screaming because my, my siblings were in the house. And I was like, guys, look, it's actually coming out. It's you know? working. Like, <laughs> it's actually coming out. <laughs> You know, I mean, yes, after that, yes, there were things like it wasn't really setting in on the skin, but that's another story, that, you know. It, you've made like yeah. a forward step. Like yeah. now you know oh, how to get consistent. You know, right. yeah, Next time. step is how do we make it like actually get in. So from there on, it's just been like, I remember by this other time, like my friend took, uh, we had these little small jars yeah. and then he used them on, the, he used them on himself and then also gave his sister and, and his um, nephews and whatnot. Yeah. So like after Azura, after applying it, they just went outside and they came back and they were very ashy, like go ashy as fuck, like like, like nothing was, has happened. <laughs> and I was very like, dude, I was like, okay, so now I'm getting this phone call, ah, bro, what what? And I'm like, oh, okay, you know. And then, <laughs> then I fixed them. It's then I gave them, yeah. Feedback. Then another time, I gave these people in the same room a photo pizza. I literally went outside and I had to walk with a towel because my, you know, my skin was just, you know. So those are things I should be learning. Like I can't tell someone that I just woke up with everything there, yeah. you know. But like I said, you make feedback. I trade, I trade, I trade. You know, try and error until like with where we are. Yeah. And I think that journey also is very humbling. And when now we get to a point where my customers are like, you know, this I need is this it. every like, month, every every. Someone will be on your neck, like, bring Next us badge. product, you know, like, you know, and... And I think when we now got into pharmacies, we sort of we got into pharmacies last year. Yeah. And then we got into a, a QV pharmacy. They yeah. were the first ones to take us. Of which QV is quite popular because I think since I was born, I've just mm. seen that corner in town. But yeah, now, yeah. Um, they've just been there for like it's Close opposite to Angola City. Yeah, City Center or, yeah, yeah. That's I think they've been there for like I don't know, man. As yeah. long as I remember. It's just thing. a fixture, man. The, when yeah. you said that, I'm actually like getting flashbacks of driving <laughs> past it like at night as a kid. Yeah, man, like uh, you know, 10, 15 years ago. You see, <laughs> so then they took our product, they took our body butters, and I mean, and the shock that I got like a month later when they're calling for like mm. more stock because we'd given them on consignment. Right. Also, oh, it's like they they take it. They don't they give you money. It, yeah. They're like, we'll give you money. Yeah. And I said, ten questions, twelve questions. They're like, calling me like works. after like a month. They're like, stock is up in. And we'll be and we'll trying to get hold of you. You know, but you share, but tell us what. But I was telling about label, but I was not And I'm like, but guys, you know, it was already like, there. And I, I gave you. I was like, I was also like, here. I was also <laughs> here a month ago. Yeah, and they're like, no, out of product, and I'm, you know, and so and to me, because we gave them about twenty four units, yeah, uh, twelve of the the Baba range and twelve of the Marula range. Yeah. So that meant like twenty four people essentially just walked into the store and bought our products like yeah man it, it wasn't something man. it wasn't me texting like it didn't yeah, it wasn't yeah. them coming to my inbox yeah, and asking me to and get right. what no no and then now because now working with over 15 pharmacies now yeah. and this is i mean as a year closing we've got people like another diamond pharmacy also there um and also having talks with like some of the people from there's so many other pharmacies based in town like on a sunrise you've been in different locations yeah and products to just uptake you know and this I don't even know who those people are, but I'm just happy they are liking the product and it's doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah. So for me, I yeah. feel like I feel like I'm probably like I mean I don't know I don't know about the people that have been to this interview before, but I feel like 
I'm probably like one of the happiest people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm probably I'm yeah. the I'm probably, yeah, I'm actually the happiest person <laughs> to be here because and to be doing what I'm doing. The reason why I say so is I mean how many of us get to actually live doing our dream. Yeah. Something that we actually like doing. So for me it's like on a daily basis I wake up and I'm I'm, like, I'm doing I'm just like you know what and I mean yes I enjoy the money also but like I'm like thinking okay wait you know because because at, at some point initially you know yeah. you'd be doing something and it seemed like it wasn't really yielding, yielding any yeah. results and, um, and also in regards to money is it fair to assume that uh, for for a while maybe you were leaving money on the table as well is that like a, with like the qualification you had like if you had gone to get a job would yeah, you have been yeah. paid better or like what what I mean could have been that is that part I mean, of like the sacrifice we were talking about i mean some of the sacrifices were like maybe opportunities to maybe to go learn abroad you know there's yeah. the context of that yeah. i mean yeah. with my program i can essentially go and maybe specialize in some other fields maybe i know i know right now america is very pro on taking people who are in the chemistry field yeah same with um european some other european spaces and even south africa really yeah so there's actually quite a demand for that because what you're essentially doing is you are learning certain skills and then also just adding onto the portfolio of that university yeah you know it also adds weight onto the type of you know crop that they breed um from that space yes yeah. so those are some of the sacrifices and also looking at maybe um I could have gotten a job, you know, um, mm. the qualifications. <laughs> and I could have been earning maybe around like $600 maybe. on. A, I mean, on, on a short term, um, short term, yeah, it seems like, you know, I mean, I could be, you know, I, I mean, I, I can't really say because I get to eat whatever I want. I get yeah. to do whatever I want anyway right now. <laughs> but, uh, but, I mean, I'd have that security of saying yeah. that I'm just waking yeah. up, I'm just doing my lab tests and I just go back home and, you know, and I've stressed like, oh, my boss is stressing me or whatever, you know. Yeah. But like with now, I'm looking at like a, I mean, it's like a million dollar company, you know, that are building and and I mean and and being maybe the largest shareholder, you're looking at like, dude, if it's like a million or if it's like a ten million bi- dollar business, business, I mean, I've, and I've got like certain percentages of that, like <laughs> what, well, what that is mean? what is six hundred, you know, to a million, <laughs> you know? It's, so yeah, in that context, yes, yeah, um, yeah. and I, I think that. I hear that. I um, mean, I've been fortunate enough maybe to also have like um, uh, the team that I work with. Um, you know, very supportive and also just maybe just the spiritual aspect, you know, I think one of my personal affirmations is delays not deny. I yeah, think, you posted, yeah. when did you post it? I, I, post, I post, I post like, tweet. yeah, I, I mean, think, yeah. Under I, honor. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I yeah, do have to man. stalk to make it obvious. I, I mean, that means, that means you're good as you're well, <laughs> well done. So delays not deny for me, um, it's a funny story actually, you know, yeah. at some point I remember I was going to like, uh, with my mom, to like one of these prayer mountains in 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 yeah in Harare right yeah and they are selling freezes you know because I needed money right because yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I was on holiday and I was like I was preparing to go to uni and whatnot and I needed money to also start some of the things that I wanted to do yeah. um and then I was selling freezes there and I think one of the things that they were talking about there was um essentially it was delays not denial when they were just mentioning how it might seem like things were not going a certain way. Yeah. But as a no way you're denied of an opportunity, yeah. if it's if it arises, it will come at its own time. And at that time you'll be ready. I think of it like that. So for me, getting into a space, I mean, I'm a guy who's doing like cosmetics. I mean already that's like a big That's quite unique. That's, isn't yeah, it? it's yeah, it's yeah, it's quite <laughs> people be like, Okay, so you know, I that is all that shock when people call some of the numbers and then I'm the one who's oh, answering. You, and you're answering and then like, you're getting this yeah. deep manly voice and you're like what? I think is this is the right number, or maybe the lady left and someone answered, you know, the type of thing. Like, no, it's actually me. Yeah. Or now I've some because we also do some consultations that we have, you know. Yeah. Um, so with that alone, that whole process of saying delays not deny, yeah. Um, it's I think it's my personal affirmation. And that's what's been keeping me going because there are times I think at yeah, when I post there's also like a little emoji at the end. That always like they, <laughs> that's what changes, but the stuff, affirmation remains the same. Remains the emoji same. at the end is probably just like sometimes it can be like these little hands that I just like I'm like, <laughs> what is this? You know, <laughs> but You're like uh, this has been the worst <laughs> week, man. Yeah, like, yo. <laughs> but we keep going. Delay is not deny. I think at some point it was on the products, but I felt like you know, you know, as you, as we're grow, as we're growing, there's yeah. always that that other thing as you know people were creating something. At some point, you have to be willing to allow you to separate yourself 
ah, from, from what you're creating. Yeah. What you're creating is not you. It's yeah. a separate entity. Yeah. So think of yeah. it as a baby that's growing. Mm-hmm. At the same way I've been growing, the same way it's been growing. So at some point it's going to walk, at some yeah, point it's going it to changes, run. It changes, it becomes other things. It changes, things. and that's what's been happening with the process. So understanding that has also helped me in terms of maybe not getting getting a team because a lot of dynamics change when you now get a team. Remember, I was just doing the next yeah. myself. Yeah, you're calling um, all you the know, shots. Um, yeah, you know, I could just decide to wake up and be like, ah, today I'm not feeling like it, you know, I just have to do this. <laughs> Ah, today's very cloudy. I don't yeah. know. Let me just stay indoors. You know, it's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and yeah, that lack of accountability. Something yeah, also yeah, that yeah. also just affects uh, the founders progress as well. and yeah. progress. Yeah. Um, yeah. So now working with the team, I think they now also then talk about the Akai team that I'm working with. So with the Akai team, it just it was actually a friend of mine, Ashley Mupawa, right? Yeah. So Ashley. I've been in these competitions before. I've gone for so many competitions, but you know the angle that I was coming in with. I always felt maybe now that I've come to understand there was more of a communication gap, um, and yeah. maybe portraying or just relaying the message that we want to push as owner. Um, so I got to a point where I was just really frustrated with these things. I was like, I oh, you know, I, I don't. They think, don't get it. Yeah, I don't think I'm just gonna get anything from these things. I mean, I've yeah. got people winning like ten thousand, five thousand, <laughs> what five thousand, and I'm just they like okay, and I'm just you know they doing my thing on the side. Yeah. Um, yes, I think attachment did help me because you know I was working for uh, my mentor. She's uh, the owner of uh, Nutri Foods. Uh, okay, my my mentors rather because it's actually a group of two people. Yeah. Uh, so her name is uh, Novoko Sindlofu and also Kolek and Lofu, yeah. right? So I was working with them at Nutri. So the reason why I specifically spoke with her was the fact that she sells because she, at that point she was only selling peanut butter. So now my question was, okay, we're making peanut butter, right? Yeah. What did you do differently for you to end up being in a space of like enriches, pick and pay, whatnot? It's still the same peanut butter yeah, that my grandmother is yeah, making. Yeah, it's like, for like it's a commodity. Yeah, it's, and anyone, is basic, anyone, everyone can just wake up and buy a machine, it's like $50 in Bari, and you know, and then just, you know, pack it. And, yeah. you know, what so then allows what you guys you do? to... So that, that's what... Um, honed some interest in me and then I went on to speak with her and then they allowed me to work there. So when I was working, they really did open my, up my mind in terms of how the, 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 the whole space works, the manufacturing space, um, the whole retail space, the wholesale space, yeah. the politics there. Because remember those, like I said, they're gatekeepers. Yeah. You know, I will, I, I will mention you was the gatekeepers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And then with that money now, that's when I ended up, you know, managing to register the, the business an actual business and not just you know kind of hobby just always selling, actual business yeah. and what they were just saying was this idea of you need just you just need to be you know um in compliant from the beginning so that doesn't feel as painful when you're now you you know, yeah to... and also zimra <laughs> they will need their juice zimra will come for you right <laughs> yeah. and when they come they come you know <laughs> they come guns loaded and you don't want to be found found, found wanting because yeah. yeah, that doesn't reflect well for the business so then that's when I bought my first ingredients for making the products. Yeah. Um, I think I got, I think I got lost somewhere there. What yeah. was the question? No, 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 I was talking about the team. So now, yeah. yeah. So now from then on, that's when I learned about how, you know, collaborations are very helpful. Cause remember, I think at that point I was like, I was like, well, like 20, 20 years old. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I'm 20 and I mean, I'm not at that. I mean, I'm just 24 guys. Okay. You know, I, I yeah, might not look enough. 24, <laughs> but like I am, you know, so, um, getting to certain spaces, I also realized that some of the challenges, I don't know if you're going to put this somewhere, but yeah. some of the challenges were also the fact that my age, right. So the certain space that I'll go into and these people potentially are like my father yeah, my like aunt 50, 60, my uncle you know type of thing yes they're older I mean, not that old guys but what you you know they're like you know what you could you know and then there's you uh and you're coming in like i want to do this what 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 you come off a bit as naive of yeah. course i don't have that much life experience but I feel like that was also some of the some of the challenges I faced in terms of being taken seriously. Yeah, people are like, yeah, when you go in certain spaces, can this guy actually like deliver? Yeah, what I'm he's like, ah, but it's just a kid. Yeah, 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 yeah that's the thing. Maybe take you maybe take you seriously, or maybe walk my twenty-seven. That's definitely the thing. And that's something that I also noticed in terms of 
um, you know, even people upcoming and whatnot. I think what we all just need in the end is just maybe some people willing to mentor, mentorship. Yeah. Uh, so the Kai team, like I said before, I wasn't really, I think I reached a point where I wasn't really eager on joining competitions anymore. Um, I felt it wasn't my space yeah. or the model that I had wasn't exactly wasn't for pitchpreneurs type of thing. Yeah. Like I wasn't, yeah. it wasn't as striking as whatnot because like I said, I mean, it's a locally made product. I'm not making, I'm not the next Steve Jobs. Yeah. You know, yeah, because like, they do love like shiny presentations. They really presentation, love that. Like, I remember some guy won a competition. The world. For like taking like a screen recording of him talking to a chat box and they're free yeah. you know, i'm not even a tech person but i know that there's like i could make this i could have just done the same thing right yeah. but he, do, he and he played the oh, whole man. video he didn't and have to like, pitch yeah. say anything he just played the video and he, he, and he left that, with 5k man. and i'm just there, like but guys he literally just played a video like, and, uh, you know, and i was like, and you know, like how does this even fit in our context as well like there's so bro, many dynamics bro. with when it comes i mean to there were so many questions with that i was just <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> so then I ended up realizing there's a lot of politics behind some of these things. Yeah, so my friend just then said, Ashley, he's like, no, we're doing a, com- well, not a competition, we're doing, it's a program, it's a free program that you can just join in. And I was yeah. like, you know what, since it's, you know, it's, I'm, I'm not competing with anyone, I would want to learn because I've been in several whatnots and I've done several, th- like several programs. It doesn't um, really like push the needle. Yeah. So I was <laughs> like, I might as well just continue learning because, hey, it's not like you ever know everything. So we took part in it. It's a six week b- b- building program. Yeah. Business, it's called the Biz Build, Business Building Program. Yeah. And essentially what Akai are pushing for is to become like a um, ecosystem enabler in terms of the startup space. So they are, think of them as maybe uh, they're scouting for, again, I think they're scouting you for, know, for, startups. For, for startups that yeah. they can essentially build. They might not necessarily be building in terms of injecting funding or anything, but, but they can give you certain thing. skills and whatnot that yeah. can help you in terms of business development. Yeah. So a six week program. And I think we're learning on, and they helped us in terms of even acquiring like a website because in your intellectual property actually becomes a thing over time because yeah. Someone can actually someone just can buy. Just take your name. Someone can buy, buy a logo. The like domain, you know, they can buy a domain. Yeah, the and, logo. and now when you're big and you wanna buy that on a natural oil dot co dot zw, someone else is, yeah, someone else has it and but like and there are actually people who do those things as work. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. hunt and they buy those things and when you want them, they are approaching like okay, if you want to, you want buy for this much, we'll yeah. give you. Yeah. After the six week program, they just asked us because we're about fifteen, yeah. and then they asked us to do uh, a pitching um, competition. Well, not a comp- just a pitching, like just, pitch. just to pitch. You know, they did help us in terms of maybe structuring some of the things. How have you talk refined about. over the past six yeah. weeks? Yeah, and then we did the pitch, um, and they got some other maybe tech or hub leaders rather, yeah. and then to just maybe be the judges and just give some input on maybe the areas that we could work with and to improve on and then we did that you know that program and i think somewhere along the way i remember having conversations with one of the organizers and then they were just you know we're also building the business we're also building the business they're asking like um oh you actually make these products i think it was very he was very surprised we're actually making them you're not repacking you're not what what no no no. (laughs) we're making everything locally but like uh, we've got like a range of over like 15 products at this point yeah um and they're like okay oh okay that's interesting i think maybe you know if we could set up a meeting in person you know also in arara maybe you can meet and then you can probably bring some of the products and maybe would like to purchase some of them i was like oh cool I mean, yeah, you know, a new customer. It's, Why not? It's very <laughs> difficult to gain customers, guys. And then, um, then he went and then he spoke, and and then somewhere along the conversations was an issue of, oh, we'd want to uh, partner with you, and we're looking at maybe injecting, you know, a certain amount of capital into the yeah. business. So I was just like, okay, you guys are joking, you know. I mean, <laughs> okay, I've had this before. Like, yeah. okay, cool, <laughs> okay, cool, man. Yeah, you know, cheers. Ooh, ooh, sort it out. Yeah, well, definitely. And then I just went home and was like, okay, whatever these people are talking about. And then I ended up getting like several calls during the week. And I was like, okay. This is actually. I hope you can. It's like, oh, Nigel, I hope you're considering a conversation. Oh, 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 okay. We were actually. This is actually happening then. And then thereafter, you know, ended up working on things. I think it was for me also. I think one of the things that might be the problem for me uh, going on was um, the issue of mindset, like fully accepting that that I have done something that people. 
actually um, want to actually want and there are people who see the, as much potential as i see in the vision of 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 this yeah i think also as a someone who's creating something something that you know you're not really aware of but fully accepting it also helps in terms of changing your perception of yeah, things yeah, and since i've yeah. been working with the team it's really helped us um in terms of whatnot and even working with the zim trade team i think it's helped us in terms of setting up our structures um yeah being, because being structures export, are really important, yeah, isn't it? being export ready um and that's you know in those conversations that's when we didn't win you but know but networking i can, and, I can and, and safely say the networks that we left that place with yeah. um that we left with you know Could i think been. those are invaluable and then yeah. from those conversations talking to some of the industry leaders i mean we are like big people guys yeah. i mean having I, th- I don't think i might meet them anytime soon in any of these spaces yeah but being <laughs> able to be in that space and even having a drink and you. having that chat with them I think that also be the biggest highlight. I think for us, our take home was that's when even ends up having you know coming up with this tagline "Forever Young" because yeah. it really did then come into mind. With, oh wait, but that's what we're doing. We're really? really just coming up with these solutions for some of these things that you, you know start experiencing over time. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's it's it's been like a full circle moment. And yeah, yeah for me, um, like I said, going to school spending about four years studying biochemistry. I, I finished sometime last year. Yeah. And then that's when we're doing, I think with COVID also, then we just ended up being like full scale in terms of production and just trying to uh, get customers. Um, and then since, you know, I think what, what I told myself when the year began was, um, you know, there's a song that says, you know what they say about the grass, uh, what no. you water is what's going oh, to grow. Yeah. You know? So yeah. like, I was like, no, but, I want to see what happens when I really immerse like myself put in this. Myself into this yeah. And, you know, water it. What, what are we what going to yield? do we get? And I think I've been fortunate enough. I mean, like that, you know, uh, I feel blessed to be in the space that I'm in now. And also just, I think some of the highlights are when you realize other people are actually looking up to what you're doing. Yeah. And, you know, like, what? Me? Yeah, I mean, hey, no pressure, <laughs> hey, but hey, you know, um, yeah, I think that's that, I think yeah. that's like a golden moment, man. Yeah. I mean, and, and we're very happy with the work we're doing in Honor, and we're very keen on making more collaborations and partnerships. Like yeah. we're very approachable guys, you know. We, we're eager to work with all DMs. sorts of people that want to get us, you know, involved with us. We're very open, even in terms of collaborations, ambassadors, you know, um, partnerships, like things like that. We're very open to that because, yeah. like like I said, you know. You know, like with our logo, it's one of our key objectives to work with as many people as possible. Because most of the ideas that we've managed to get over time, these these are things that we got from the people. people. Feedback is what has made us grow into what we are, and it will continue to help us to be. Yeah, we're like a listening brand, if there's such a thing. We're yeah. very, <laughs> yeah, we're a very listening brand. If that's a thing, you yeah. know. <laughs> no, I think I fair yeah. enough, man. But. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much for, for coming through and doing this, man. Like, no, I know. I thank you. Really. I learned so much in this session, man. Um, yeah. Um, the last time I, I learned this much was when I spoke to, I think, a chef. It's like, what? You guys do? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be surprised, man. There's so many things. I mean, I can have, like... Yeah, man. I, I, like, I don't seem like I'm having, like, a lecture. I'm, like, I'm lecturing <laughs> people. But, like, there's so many things. Yeah. And I'm... Yeah, I think maybe yeah. COVID also did help us yeah. um, in terms of realizing that there's a lot of potential even locally. Um, I mean, I was very happy about the when, when there was like a shortage of certain products on the shelves because I was like, like, okay, oh, you know, no, hey, guys, to... you know, try us. No, you know, when you... We're the only option. <laughs> I mean, but to be fair, that's, yeah. that is how like you acquire yeah. customers, isn't it? It's like yeah. everyone else is in there, realize, you wait. step up. Yeah, so it's like I was looking for that blue stuff, you know, but I found, but... you know, this, but and it's actually better, actually. <laughs> hey, surprise. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. No, man, thank you so much for, for taking the time.